Section 1. The Art of the Intro Writing is hard. Starting is harder. It's a universal struggle, one that every writer, regardless of experience, has faced at some point. The blank page can be intimidating, a silent challenge that dares us to fill it with our thoughts and ideas. We've all been there, staring at a blank page, feeling the weight of expectation. It's like standing at the edge of a cliff, unsure of how to take that first step. Like a vast, empty desert, it stretches before us. Daunting, right? The emptiness can feel overwhelming, a vast expanse with no clear path forward. But remember, every journey begins with a single step. But fear not, every writer from newbie to pro faces this. Even the most celebrated authors have stared at a blank page wondering how to begin. It's a rite of passage, a challenge that unites us all. The key is to just begin. Start with a word, a sentence, a thought. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be a start. The act of writing will guide you, and soon the words will flow. Think of your intro as an invitation, a welcoming hand to your reader. It's your chance to draw them in, to make them feel at home in your world. A good intro does two things. It grabs the reader's attention and sets the tone for the rest of your piece. It grabs the reader's attention. It makes them sit up and take notice, eager to read more. It also sets the stage for what's to come. It gives the reader a taste of what's ahead, a hint of the journey they're about to embark on. It's the appetizer before the main course, a taste of the feast ahead. Just like a well-crafted appetizer whets the appetite, a good intro prepares the reader for the main event. So, how do we craft intros that sing? Let's dive in. We'll explore techniques, tips, and tricks to help you create intros that captivate and engage. Whether you're writing an essay, a novel, or a blog post, a strong intro is your key to success. So let's get started on this journey together. Section two, why section intros matter. Think of a long winding road trip. The journey is full of twists and turns, and the scenery is constantly changing. Without those helpful signs guiding you, you might feel lost. You wouldn't know which direction to take or what to expect next. Section intros are your road signs. They provide direction and context, helping you navigate through the content smoothly. They tell the reader where you've been and where you're going. Just like a map, they offer a clear path forward. Each section intro is a mini promise. It's a commitment to the reader that the upcoming content will be valuable and worth their time. You're telling the reader, stick with me, this next part is going to be good. It's an assurance that their journey through your writing will be rewarding. They provide clarity, breaking down your thoughts into digestible chunks. This organization makes complex ideas easier to understand. This keeps your reader engaged, curious about what's coming next. It builds anticipation and maintains their interest. Section intros also serve as a recap, reminding the reader of key points covered so far. This reinforcement helps solidify their understanding. They act as a bridge, connecting different parts of your writing seamlessly. This cohesion ensures a smooth flow of ideas. Imagine reading a book with no chapter breaks. Overwhelming, right? The content would feel endless and exhausting. Section intros are like those pauses, giving your reader a moment to breathe. They offer a mental break, allowing the reader to absorb and reflect on the information. What techniques do you already use to transition between different parts of your writing? Let's discuss. Share your strategies and see how they can be enhanced with effective section intros. By incorporating strong section intros, you can make your writing more engaging, organized, and reader-friendly. It's a small change that can make a big difference. So next time you sit down to write, remember the power of a good section intro. It can guide your reader, keep them engaged, and make your content shine. Happy writing. Section three, hooks that grab. Remember those fishing shows? The angler casts their line, a shiny lure dancing on the water. That's your hook. It's the opening line, the first impression that makes your reader bite. There are many types of hooks. You can start with a startling statistic, a thought-provoking question, or even a funny anecdote. 
The key is to be relevant to your topic and intriguing to your reader. Think about your favorite books or articles. What was it about the opening lines that pulled you in? Share your favorite opening lines in the comments below. Section 4. The Power of Questions We all love a good mystery, right? Questions create intrigue. They invite the reader to become an active participant in your writing. Don't be afraid to ask questions directly. Have you ever wondered why? Or what if we could? These questions spark curiosity and get your reader thinking. The best part? You don't always need to provide the answers. Sometimes, the most powerful questions are left open-ended, prompting further reflection. What are some questions that have stayed with you long after you finished reading a book or article? Section 5. Transitioning Smoothly In this section, we will explore the art of creating smooth transitions in your writing. Imagine a film with jump cuts between every scene. Jarring, isn't it? These abrupt changes can be disorienting and disrupt the viewer's experience. Transitions are the glue that holds your writing together. Just like in film, smooth transitions in writing help maintain the reader's engagement and understanding. They create a seamless flow from one idea to the next, ensuring that your narrative or argument progresses logically and effortlessly. Use transition words and phrases to guide your reader. These words act as signposts, directing the reader through your thoughts and arguments. Words like, however, therefore, and on the other hand, signal a shift in thought. They help the reader understand the relationship between different ideas. You can also use summarizing sentences to recap the previous point before moving on. This technique reinforces the information and prepares the reader for what's next. The goal is to create a natural progression, like a river flowing effortlessly downstream. Just as a river follows a path, your writing should guide the reader smoothly from one point to the next. What are some of your go-to transition words or phrases? Share your tips. Engaging with others can provide new insights and techniques to enhance your writing. Collaborating with peers or seeking feedback can also help you identify areas where transitions can be improved. Sometimes an outside perspective can highlight gaps or abrupt shifts that you might have missed. Reading widely can also expose you to different styles of transitions. Pay attention to how authors you admire move from one idea to the next. What techniques do they use? How do they maintain flow? Practice is key. The more you write, the more you'll develop an intuitive sense for when and how to use transitions effectively. Don't be afraid to experiment with different techniques until you find what works best for you. Remember, transitions are not just about individual words or phrases. They can also involve the structure of your sentences and paragraphs. Varying sentence length and structure can create a rhythm that enhances the flow of your writing. Ultimately, the goal is to make your writing as clear and engaging as possible. Smooth transitions are a crucial part of achieving this. So, take the time to refine your transitions, and your readers will thank you for it. Section 6. Finding your flow. Writing shouldn't feel forced. It should feel like a conversation with your reader. And just like in a conversation, there's a natural rhythm and flow. Don't be afraid to experiment with different lengths and structures for your section intros. Sometimes a short and punchy sentence is all you need. Other times you might need a few sentences to set the scene. The most important thing is to be authentic to your voice and style. Let your personality shine through. What helps you find your flow when you're writing? Let's share our secrets. Section 7. Examples to inspire. Let's look at some examples of engaging section intros. But what about the downsides? This question immediately piques the reader's curiosity and introduces a contrasting viewpoint. Imagine a world without traffic jams. This sentence paints a vivid picture and draws the reader into a hypothetical scenario. The research is clear. Climate change is real. This statement uses a bold claim and cites evidence to grab the reader's attention. These are just a few examples, but they illustrate the power of strong section intros. Can you think of any other examples of captivating section intros? Section 8. Practicing your craft. Like any skill, writing takes practice. The more you write, the better you'll become at crafting compelling intros. 